Rebar placements in beams can get tricky, but in this video, I show you precise pro level techniques that make it simple and smart. So we are going to create rebars for this beam that we have in here between these two columns. But as you know, we usually do this uh, based on the document, based on the drawing, based on the information that we have from the structure designer, right? We create all of these with precise size and dimension and the uh, distance for each one of the rebars. But in here, we are going to just learn techniques that we need to know to model them in Revit, okay? So let's start by going to the second level. One thing that we need to create rebars is to be on a 2D view. We cannot create them in 3D. I'm going to go to 2D, uh, either in a plan view, or you can just simply create a section for that, either horizontally or vertically. I'm going to create it exactly in this part so we can see some parts of the columns too i'm going to return it to this side and let's go to this view in here in this part as you can see one side of this beam is connected to this comb and on the other side we have another comb and of course the rest of the beam in here i created it this way so we understand the details that we can have on the close end of a beam and where we have it continue to the other beam okay okay so this is one view that we are going to work on and the other one is going to be on the other side like this and i'm going to make it very small because we want to see just one stroke or just the section of our reverse okay i'm going to select my beam and then in this part in the reinforcement panel i'm going to select this rebar now in here as you can see i have already loaded my rebars so i have all of them in this section and from these parts you can control the placement of your rebar you might need to like check some of these to get exactly what you need as you can see right now this Point is going to be my rebar but i want to start with creating a stroke first and then i will add the uh, main rebars okay i will scroll down in here to find the shape that i want which is this one and i'm going to just simply select it and if you move it to this part you can see the placement of your stroke your rebar on your beam so this is not the placement that i want i'm going to change it i want it to be on the current work plane and then parallel to work plane so i'm going to select it in here okay so this is our first step if i select it and go to this 2d view we can see it in here if you want to see it in 3d view too you need to go to properties and to view visibility states in here i'm going to check this option for 3d and click on ok now you can see this in here much better so this is our stoop and the hooks that we have in these sections are not the exact hook that we need i need to have the 135 degree stroke okay so in this section you can change the hook at the start and hook at end i'm going to change both of them to this option and also this one okay and if we go to this second section that we created we can see it much better Okay, if you want to change the size of this hook, I mean the length that we have in here or the bend in this section, you need to just simply select it, go to edit type, and in here you can go to hook lengths, okay, for the length of your hook. So in here I'm going to simply put this on, for example, 125. If I click on OK and click on Apply, as you can see, it is changed. And for the steel bend diameter, which you can see it in here, you just need to simply change the value we have in this part. I'm going to set it on 40. As you can see, it is smaller. Also, if you want to change the size of your cover, as you can see, this green 
line in here shows the cover of your beam if you want to change this you need to go to a structure tab and in your reinforcement panel you need to open it in here you can see the rebar cover setting in this part you can see some sizes that you can choose but if you want to create it yourself you can simply add it for example change the name to beam rebar cover okay and change the value we have in this part i'm going to for example put this on um 45 Okay, now how you can apply it to this beam, you need to select your beam and in here in the structure section, you can change the rebar cover for top face, for bottom face, for other faces, for any part that you want. I'm going to change this top face to the one that we just created, beam rebar. And if I move my mouse, as you can see, it is changed just from this part. If we change all of these, to the value we just created you can see that all of these parts are changed to check it you just need to use this dimension from this point to here i'm going to place it in this part if i select this rebar and click on this section as you can see it is showing exactly 45 millimeter okay so this is how you can change these dimension and these sizes now let's go back to this 3d view and see how we should set this on this beam okay i'm going to go to this section because it is easier to see it in this part and let's hide this section in this part i'm going to move it to this part we modify move it exactly from this part to here in here we should keep some distance between the syrup and the face of the cup these things depending on your country might be different okay so you need to check this based on the uh, way you like create all of these in your country okay uh, I'm going to move it closer and I will not set any value for here. And then we need to add the rest of the rebars to here. For this, we are going to go to this rebar set and we need to switch this single to number with spacing. Okay. Or you can go with just fixed number, maximum spacing, minimum clear spacing. This just depends on you. I'm going to go with number with spacing and then in here i will add a little bit more zeros to here for example we can go with eight and for the size i'm going to go with 150 okay or maybe 100 is enough like this then i'm going to simply mirror it for the other side of this beam in here and i'm going to move it closer to the column like this a little bit closer i should use the mouse okay now then we are going to create it for the center of this beam i'm going to add two more for each side okay and then i'm going to copy one of them to the center then we are going to change the quantity and the spacing since these sections are closer to the column we need more zeros and the gap between them should be smaller but in the center of this beam we can have more space between each zero so we might need less zero for this distance okay i'm going to change this to for example 200 and then the quantity could be like 15. I'm going to move it closer to this part. Do not drag it. Move it like this. Okay. And we are going to add a little bit more or we can just simply add gap in here. Okay. Let me change it. Okay. This is okay. If we go to 3D view, we can see all of them in here like this. We usually need to change the direction of this hook uh, for 
each one of these when you are um, like executing this beam um, it is easier to change it but in here since it is a little bit difficult we're going to just rotate each set this way if you press the space you can just simply rotate it for this i press the space one time and for this section if you press it two times you can just simply change its placement this way okay now the next rebar that we are going to add will be on the length of this beam so i'm going to go to this section number two and we are going to add another type of rebar this time again i will click on this section and then i'm going to choose the type of rebar the shape of the rebar that i need i will go with this type because the end should be hooked like this you can simply go with this one and then change and um, sketch it again but it is easier this way so i'm going to select this one and now as you can see its placement is different we need it to be perpendicular to cover so i'm going to switch to this one and we can have it like this in here as you can see when you go closer to each side it will change its placement i'm going to simply place it in here and then we can go to 3d view to check where it is exactly let me just select it okay and i'm going to make it visible for this 3d view too now we can see it much better so its hook is in this part as you can see it is on the top side of this beam and it is inside this section if you go to this section number one we can see it better i'm going to press the space again to place it exactly where i want one more time and now we are going to change all of these sizes first we need to go to this section number two to set it exactly where we want i'm going to move it to this corner to here okay with arrows on your keyboard it is very easy to set it where you want then i'm going to switch it to the number with the spacing and then i'm going to add one more and reduce this size to for example 90 okay I'm going to select it again and maybe we can move them maybe we can go with 85 okay this way and set it where it needs to be okay if we go to 3d view we can see all of them in this section okay for its placement i'm going to move it a little bit to the center like this if you go to this section number one we can see it much better it needs to be inside the column this way okay since this is the end of our rebar and we don't need to continue it for the other side we are going to close and add a hook in this section but on the other side it can be free we can continue this for this beam too in here we are going to change this size this length that we have we can just simply change it manually i'm going to go with 250 this way or you can reduce this even more maybe 210 220 this just depends on you and if you want to change the bar diameter you just need to go to edit type and change it the exact way that we changed all of these stirrups okay now i'm going to go back to this section number two and we are going to mirror it for the base I will use this mirror from its center like this to here if we go to 3d view we can see them in this part too I feel like the size of these uh, rebars are small so I'm going to switch them to 16 or let's go with 19 now if we go to this section number two as you can see they look much better okay like this then we are going to create them for this side too i will select one of them copy it to the center and then i'm going to mirror it from this first one 90 degree like this 
then i'm going to delete this first one and move it up to here exactly on this part and then we are going to add a little bit more spacing and one more to here i will reduce one i wanted to just use these checks i usually set um rebars on this part and in here to like fix and fit all of the rebars together but in here since we can simply move it inside the rebar i will reduce one of the rebars and then i will move it down to set it in the center this way okay now we can use this mirror to create one set for the other side too if we go to 3d view we can see all of them in here okay now as you can see their hooks are toward outside so if we click on this part and press space they should be on the other side this way okay i'm going to go to section two and move them inside here okay all of these might happen you just need to learn how you can control them I'm going to move it inside this way like this now if we go to 3d view in here we can see the perfect closing for this beam you might see overlap you might see intersection between all of these parts and you can just simply fix it with moving one of them for example we can do this better in this section i'm going to just move as you can see these groups in here i will move it inside and for the other side you can simply move it outside or any part that you want or for here for example let's say we have a little bit more length this way and i'm going to move another one to here for this one we can move this a little bit more because we still have intersection with these parts and now we can go to this 3d view and see all of them perfectly in this part okay all of these white rebars are the parts that we just created right now together okay so this is how you can create rebars for your beams and for the other side you can just simply uh, go to this section and extend them carefully not like this extend them carefully to here all of them and continue working on the rebars on the other side so as i explained before we usually use the exact and precise dimensions drawings for creating all of these parts but in here i just wanted to show you how you can simply create all of these by yourself because creating rebars at the beginning might be a little bit scary and uh, it was a lot scary for me so i just wanted to explain this if you are a beginner you can just simply practice all of this and of course you will get better soon so thank you for watching this tutorial until now i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time